Welcome back and today we're going to continue our look at the Synology M2D18. It's the NVMe and SATA based SSD cache upgrade for your Synology NAS as long as you've got an S uh, a PCIe slot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to muck around and play around with our 35 gig of test files that we've used in all the other videos. We're going to throw it around the Synology NAS whilst we're going to let the SSD cache do its thing and then we're going to monitor how long it takes to perform all these actions. Then we're going to remove the SSD cache and run pretty much exactly the same test again just to see if we see a performance increase and how the system handles it so first things first I'm looking at the clock here I've clocked up about 30 seconds but don't worry we'll put a timer on this so straight away let's get moving there's our SSD cache 500 gig in read write cache and first thing we're going to do is start mucking around with our 35 gig of files and just start pasting the blighters everywhere I'm going to start really hitting this thing hard and start pasting those files in. So we're going to paste into those three directories. Up here, we can see the background tasks of all three of those. At the same time, I'm going to start running a virtual machine in the background. That's going to take two of the CPU cores and half of the memory away. So that VM is going to run there in the background while all this is going on. And again, we've got all those running there in the background and the SSD cache is already starting to clock things up. Um, let's see if we can get the resource monitor, even at a limited capacity, to give us real-time information. So I'm just going to pop the resource monitor over file station. And what we're going to see is how our system is going to perform with everything that's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disappear. I'm going to leave this to continue doing what it's doing. I'm going to fast forward the screen and then we're going to get a good idea how long it took to perform these actions with SSD cache enabled. So, see you in a bit. And our tests are drawing to a close. Okay, just two left. We've already knocked off one of them. Let's see if we can get the other two knocked out. And all of our tests are complete. Now, by my clock here, it's about 16 minutes or so, but I'm sure after the edit, you might see something slightly different. Um, all those different directories have been created. The VM continued use. And we can see all of the analytical information here with regard to the CPU, memory, network, disk, and everything else. Um, if we look at the memory, we can see how much memory was used during that period and of course the CPU because the CPU is being utilized by other things so that is worth bearing in mind do check out my video by the way on uh, IOPS monitoring and of course the performance benchmark within a virtual machine utilizing this card but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, cancel that I'm going to delete the files that we created so let's delete you stay on uh, the video for me because we're going to do this live just to make sure no one can say that I've nobbled this I'm going to remove you there's our original 30, 35 uh, gig of test files and there's another pile of copies that we created so that's all three directories of copied files now gone uh, do we have a recycle bin? apparently not uh, we're going to turn off we're going to force shut down the virtual machine we're going to set the clock back to zero as well and when that VM's powered off, so now that CPU and none of that host memory is being consumed by the VM, all of our resources are now available. There's our 10G of files ready to go, but this time we're going to remove the SSD cache. It will completely remove the SSD cache volume, 